This hot wire tutorial will explain how to use CleanFlight and OpenTX to do in-flight tuning. Tuning is changing any of the parameters you see on this page to improve the performance of your aircraft. We do this through adjustments. Here in adjustments we use two auxiliary channels to both select and modify parameters we wish to tune. In this case I'm using auxiliary 3 to select a list of six different parameters. This is the list of parameters that I choose to tune at any one time on the field. Auxiliary 2 increments or decrements the values of a selected parameter when I select it on the field. Here in OpenTX Companion we can make the necessary adjustments for our transmitter to enact what we've done to the flight controller first thing to do is to affect these warnings. We're going to use switch B to increment and decrement the values of the parameters we choose. It's important that it stays in the center initially otherwise we will start to make adjustments straight away. So here in mixes is where the magic happens. Um, auxiliary 2 which I've labeled here and auxiliary 3 uh, channels 6 and 7. So um, switch B is set up to change the value that you choose. So whatever parameter is that you're going to choose, switch B in the up position will increase it and in the down position will decrease it and in the middle it won't do anything. In channel 7 um, we get to choose what parameter from what we set up inside the um, flight controller. Uh, what parameter we're going to edit. Okay, so switch A um, is a three position switch, switch F is a two position switch, so we have a combination of six. I'll just show you in here, see how I set it up. Okay, so it's really this offset that chooses what's happening. That's a positive offset, 55%, I don't know what it is what it, they really mean but I'll show you in a minute what they do and in the bottom one the offset is minus 55 you've got to decrease the weight otherwise it just goes off the ends okay uh, logic switches I've set up uh, I've set up six logic switches to correspond to the two positions of switch F and the three positions of switch A which gives you six positions and the reason that I've set up these six logic switches is so we can get our audio feedback over here we've got one two three four five six they're not very well organized on here but they still work uh -huh. over here so obviously position one which we go back and look at logic switches position one is F up and A up uh huh. Um, we get RC rates. RC rates is when you change everything that comes out of the radio, um, either up or down. It's a scaling factor. All right. So you can change all of it together. Down here, you just change pitch and roll. That's um. Whoops. Uh, logic switch four. Pitch and roll. Pitch and roll rates. Okay. I don't know whether you could hear that. It said pitch and roll rates, and that's how they get. Put in now. We'll have a look at the simulator. Whoops! The simulator doesn't set that to center, so unfortunately we've got to put up with that. But that's what will happen if you don't. So here, let's switch switch F. We're back to that pitch and roll rates. That's because A is in the top position. Um, obviously, it goes your rates. It's in the same order. An RC Expo. Okay, so that's how you use it on the field. Obviously, you go up, 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 and down, down, down. They they increment and decrement about every second one point that you would see in the flight controller. So I think they're in 0.01 of an increment. So every every second you will get 0.01 either increment or decrement of the value the value of whatever parameter is that you've picked to change or tune 
All right, so how do we save them? This will set it up. This will change the values temporarily, but when you turn your flight controller off, it'll lose them unless you do this. I'll just change this. Okay, so they stay there. So you move the stick to here, the left stick to there, and the right stick to there. Um, this is a mode 2 setup, so if yours is a mode 1, I think it probably goes the other way around. I'm not exactly sure. But um, as you can see, channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4, they're sort of at the other ends of the scale to one another. And that's it. When you do that, it'll save the values and you'll be off. You'll be, um, you'll have saved your tune. Of course, you'll lose the old one, so you need to either back up your tunes if you think you might do something silly, but I wouldn't. I think it'll all, I think it'll all work fine. Just little bits at a time. You can't go wrong. All right. That's it. Bye-bye. Okay, one final note, something I forgot. Here, if we have a look in how um, switch F and switch A operate, how they affect channel 7, which is uh, auxiliary 3 and uh, parameter selection, they work like this. Uh, channel F obviously is up and so is A, and so we're down here at minus 100 or thereabouts. Um, when you switch this, it goes to the center. So both of these are positive scales, um, both starting from the lowest position. So it moves up like that. Obviously those positions correspond to the positions we set up uh, in the adjustment section in the flight controller. So you need to do the same and you probably need to go and check with your transmitter on and your, uh, and your flight controller plugged into clean flight to just check that you do hit the spot with each of those positions on, as I say, on the auxiliary channel 3. If you miss, of course, it's going to lead to you thinking you're adjusting something that you're not. So go back and have a look at that. All right, bye-bye.